Uh, hi, welcome again to Tiger Carpenter. Today is a special episode in which I'm going to install the helical or spiral cutter head into my Makita thickness planer 2012NB. The cutter head we sourced from the Tiger Tools Pro, which will be available in the description. But before uh, I proceed with the installation of the new cutter head, uh, I'm going to take this last opportunity to measure the performance of my Makita 2012NB thickness planer with the original cutter head. So the test will include measurement of the noise in decibels using my phone app. And then I already set up the alternate current clamp meter. So let's, let's start with the idle run of the machine without any load. Then I will put the very dense piece of wood, which is called ion wood. So we will use this hardest wood on the planet for our test, both on the straight knives cutter head and on the helical head cutter head. So now I will turn on the Makita thickness planer without any load. around 3 amps and the noise was about 75 to 80 uh, decibels. Okay, so with uh, half turn, which is about 1.5 millimeters, uh, we were reaching the noise of about 80 plus decibels and the, the current was about 7.5 7 amp amperes. Just to remind you, we are on 220 volts. Okay, time to open the machine up. Just to <laughs> make sure nothing can happen please unplug the machine before you do any maintenance okay first we will remove the side covers Now we are going to remove the top. Let's try. Okay. So the leverage always works. Now we are going to loosen the side screws. and the knob. Okay, so the knob is out. Now we can remove the top. Okay, now I'm going to remove the tool shelf. Okay, the tool shelf is removed. You have to be careful here because now we have access to the straight knives. There is a lock here which prevents that thing from turning. You can see now it's locked. When I press this button, you can turn it. 
so we will be removing this thing so now I will remove another side bolt this is the bottom one the open notch okay now I want to remove this black cover you can see that I'm grouping everything together with the bolts I don't want to be confused so now I will remove the the, the belt okay now I will loosen the pulley wheel There's a spring. Okay, let me try to remove the belt. Okay, the belt is removed. It's in the very good shape. Okay, so this came off easily. Don't lose the key, which just dropped. This is the key. Okay, it came off by hand. Okay, that means we have to remove the blades first. So to remove the blades, the Makita tool comes handy. Makita provides magnets so that we can grab it without cutting ourselves. Okay. And I grab the knife, so now I will open the other side. And the magnet again. And the knife. There it is. Okay, so the knives have been removed. So now I should be able to remove the whole thing. Okay, so here it is. So now I will have to probably remove the bearings. Okay, so I have this gear pulley, gear pulling jaws and I am removing the bearing from the old cutter head. I'm just going to lubricate it, you know. Okay, so one bearing is out and this was the easy one because the shaft is longer but the bearing is in the perfect shape. I'm on the second bearing with the short shaft. I'm using the grease, lithium grease. So the second bearing is off also in the perfect shape 
time to open the beauty it came with a nice plywood box so here it is we have four paths of 12 carbide indexable blades the blades are made in Germany it's very sharp so here are the bearings okay so now I'm going to hammer the bearing onto the shaft okay <coughs> always lubricate stuff so now we'll go with the other side now I am putting back the carbide knives because I had to remove them because the hole was not big enough for the cutter head with the knives to go through so I had to open all the 48 knives and I also had to file the hole in the Makita thickness planer and once the cutter head was able to pass <coughs> through this hole everything else was very straightforward unfortunately I didn't film the filing but you can imagine it the shape of the hole is not circular it has flat sides so I had to file uh, I had to file the hole to create a full circle otherwise this wouldn't be able to go in you can see how easy it is to replace the carbide knives in the helical helical spiral cutter head they have four edges and each of the edges is very very sharp I cut myself many times today so when you damage one side with the nail or any other reason and or maybe they just become dull after a couple of years you can just turn them around 90 degrees and then you have another sharp edge and you can use it for another few years <coughs> so I estimate that this kind of helical spiral cutter head can be used for 10 years without replacement so the knives are attached so now the remaining part will be installing this tool cover so when this cover is closed there is a lock here so this will allow the head to spin So now the toolbox, uh, we have to change the content of the toolbox because we no longer need the magnets and we no longer need this key. We will put the carbide replacement blades, the bolts and the tool for adjustment. Okay, let's put it back together. Welcome again to the final moment of truth. Now we are going to test the Makita 2012NB thickness planer with the helical spiral head cutter installed. The meter is showing zero amps. So 
So we had 3.9 amps and 77 decibels. That was idle run. Okay, so now time for the real test with the hardest wood that I can find. So yeah, at the quarter turn we were hitting only slightly above 6 amps, which was the same as in the case of straight cutters, straight knives, cutter head. And just above 7 amps when we were using the helical spiral cutter head. So, I have to conclude that I don't have any significant increase of the load on the motor, which is excellent news for me. And the board is so beautiful on both sides. I flipped it a few times, I even changed the direction of the grain. And there is no problem whatsoever, it's really, really beautiful. So it passed the test with the flying colors. It's seriously ready for finishing. I couldn't even send it better than that. <laughs> okay, I couldn't be more happy with the quality of the finish, which is the key factor to upgrade to the helical spiral cutter head. The load on the motor is not even higher as I saw on many other reviews. Uh, I have to admit I fine-tuned the bearings and I really spent a lot of time uh, adjusting the position of the shaft and the bearings and everything. I greased the bearings properly with the white lithium grease so i used the same bearings that i had on the straight cutter head and maybe that's why i don't have any increase of the load on the motor and the finish is simply beautiful so please consider subscribing and like and see you again on the tiger carpenter channel